Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to get the response of your request. So if you look at the documentation of get async method, the return type of this method is of type task, which takes the argument of type HTTP response message. So I'm going to use this return type to capture the response. So task which takes the type as HTTP response message. Now, if you look at the class task, as you can see here, it's a generic class where we are supplying the type as HTTP response message. Inside this class, there is a property called result. And if you observe, the result is going to return as the type whatever we supply as an argument to this generic class. So in our case, we will get the type as HTTP response message as that we are supplying in this class. So using that class, that is HTTP response message, you can extract the content of response of a request. So inside the class, that is the task, I'm going to use the property result. So HTTP response message dot result. And as we know that it is going to return as the type as HTTP response message. Okay, so let me rename it. Let me call it as HTTP response message and this is HTTP response. Okay. And after that, I'm going to use console.write line and use two string with this object. Okay. So let me repeat again. As we know that the return type of get async is of type task, which is a generic class. To this generic class, we are supplying the type as HTTP response message. And this is the class which has certain methods as well as properties using which you can extract the content of the response. So I'm going to receive the response in this variable. Inside the generic class that is task, there is a property called result, which will return as the type whatever we supply the as an argument to this class. So in our case, we are supplying the argument as type HTTP response message. So when I call the result property, it is going to return as the type as HTTP response message. And using this, we can extract the content of response. Okay, so just let me build it. And again, run this to test method. So I'll just look at the output. You can see here we are getting the information about the response. 